Before we kick off with today's video, it would be very appreciative if you guys could take the time to check out my castles and company at supply.drive on Instagram. Give us a follow, give us a message. If you're in the market for a new car, please don't hesitate to get in contact with us. You know I'll look after my YouTube family. YouTube, what is going on? The Fuse of LB back again with another video. And today we're actually at a BMW car meet. Um, and we've actually got Auto ID's car behind us. Um, this is Josh from Auto ID. I'll leave his Instagram somewhere on the screen anyway, so you guys can check him out. But yeah, literally got his BMW M2 competition there. You've got mine next to it as well. So his is Alpine White, and obviously I've got the Long Beach Blue. So yeah, I'm gonna go and have a look at the parts that he's got in his car, and let me know in the comments below if you think I should do this to man. Firstly, I'd like to ignore the bag on the bonnet, just see past that, and obviously the loud noise in the background. We have got some very nice cars here. Um, I should have actually took a video earlier, but they're all leaving now. But yeah, we'll try to catch some um, very soon, but Josh has got a shoot off now, so I thought I'd do a quick video. But at the moment, the only carbon that I've got on my car is I've got these front fins around the side, and then also we've got the side blades down here. Coming round, we've got the rear lip, the spoiler, and then we've got the rear diffuser. Going inside, we've got the M Performance steering wheel with like the carbon pattern down here. So yeah, that's the only carbon I've kind of got on my car at the moment. But coming round to Josh's, you'll see it's a complete different story. So firstly, as I said, I've got the front sort of half splitter. He's got the full splitter. So this is like something out of the CS. Um, so what do you guys think of this? Do you prefer what I've got at the moment? Or do you prefer Josh's here? I actually probably prefer this um, So that's something I may consider doing and Also, I think it gets complemented very very nicely with the grill. So you can see here. He's got the carbon fiber grill where I've got the Gloss black as well. Um, this is kind of like a track spec car um, I say that because when we go around the back, you'll see exactly what I mean then yeah, we've got the big Auto ID sticker. As I said, this is Auto ID's demo car. So, repping the brand there. This is almost like a catalog for them. And then a nice little touch here is you've got these sort of, I don't know what to call them, they're like side blade inserts, if that makes sense. But yeah, I don't know how much the camera's picking up, but there, it's a gloss carbon fiber. Really nice touch. But as you can see, mine here are gloss black. Pretty cool to actually have these cars side by side again ignore the bag this picture it's not there <laughs> so more auto id stickers down at the bottom plug in the brand very nicely there and then you've got the carbon mirrors i think this is actually the first thing i'm going to do because i've got carbon so it makes sense you can see here carbon non-carbon carbon non-carbon non and then also coming around the back this is what i was talking about you've got the carbon rear spoiler as i said this car is almost like track spec you can see them side by side now how much more aggressive that one looks compared to my one um, but yeah i think they're different looks i don't think one's better than the other obviously if mine had more carbon then it would be even but yeah this is more of a sort of a street spec this is more of a um sort of a race spec but as you can see it's got the short plate and i've got the big plate so my plate's actually coming on the car soon and it will be short because that really changed the aesthetics of the car and then you'll see he's got the rear diffuser which is a bit more aggressive than mine. I mean, I've got the carbon rear diffuser, but you notice these blades here, uh, a lot less aggressive than on Josh's car here. Then also you've got the Remus exhaust as well. That means there's no ugly back box. As I said, mine's been spray painted black, so you can't really see it. Also, he's got the rear deflectors removed. So as you can see here, he's got like black covers over them where I've got this orangey red thing, which when I come back again, you can see the difference and I think the black sets it off nicely, especially in the white. I don't think with it being blue it needs it so much, but definitely on a white car. Um, and then yeah, he's got this sort of like a rear lip spoiler above the rear windscreen as well. So as you can see there, side profile wise, it makes it look a tad beefier. So let me know what you think guys. Um, this is just a quick video, nothing too in depth. Let me take my glasses off, it's actually pretty sunny. But yeah, let me know what you guys think and what I should do. I mean, I'm definitely going to do the mirrors 
maybe the grill but the grills are quite expensive but yeah let's see what Josh can hook up for us but yeah if you guys need any carbon parts for your BMW make sure you hit up Auto ID they're probably class leading at the moment for all the carbon bits and they've got some exciting changes come to this I know you mentioned like a carbon CS bonnet got a new front bumper going on there and apparently the front lip is actually part of the bumper so yeah that'll be interesting to see and that's full carbon as well but yeah that's been views of lb thanks for watching and enjoy whatever it is you're doing before you clicked on this video